The car rental market is a mess. It's still as expensive and inefficient as before the pandemic. In fact, it's the reason why Americans have been looking at other options. Today, we're talking about new alternatives to car rentals, including Turo, Lyft Rentals, Zipcar, and Silver Car by Audi. I'll also share some real-life scams that have unfortunately occurred over a few of these new platforms, as well as what you can do to mitigate your risk of not being the next victim. By the way, a lot of time and research was done to put together this video, and I really want to know what you think. So, while you're watching this, please comment below and share your thoughts. Last year, 230 Hertz customers filed a lawsuit against the company. Turns out the company wrongfully had them arrested for car theft, even though the customers had legally rented the cars. Basically, what happened was this. If a Hertz employee couldn't find a certain car, instead of doing a thorough search in their system, they'd just file a police report stating the car was stolen. Believe it or not, Hertz has been filing more than 3,300 police reports each year. According to different court documents, this group of plaintiffs has spent a total of 2,742 days in jail because of false arrests by Hertz. But that's not all. There are actually over 20,000 different people who were affected by these false arrests. Some estimate there were over 50,000 and counting. So really, these 230 cases are just the tip of the iceberg. But anyway, that's Hertz. Other car rental companies, to my knowledge, haven't been doing that. But it does mean the rental market is isn't a mess. And that's why companies like Turo have stepped in. Turo is like the Airbnb of the car rental industry. Whether or not it's a good thing depends on who you ask, if you ask me. I'm not a fan of Turo, but hey, don't take my word for it. Let me tell you about Turo and let you decide for yourself. If you're familiar with Airbnb, you can think of Turo as being the same thing, only for cars instead of houses. Turo is an online app-baked service. It allows car owners to rent out their personal car to other people for compensation, just as a homeowner can rent out a room or an entire home on Airbnb. If you're looking to rent a car in Turo, the app allows you to search and filter for a specific model or trim you want. You can also filter for any type of travel, whether you'll be traveling with kids or older passengers. It also facilitates the communication between you and the owner if you want to arrange how, when, and where to pick up the car or for delivery. At the point of pickup, the renter is advised to take multiple photos of the car so that there's a documentation of the car's condition at pickup and at drop-off. By the way, it's really crucial that you take many photos. I'll tell you why in a little bit. Anyway, if you're wondering if Turo is cheaper than going through a traditional rental car company, well, here's the thing. Huge car rental companies get revenue because they have a sizable inventory. They offer optional services and they can get a high volume of customers. But with Turo, each car owner is like an individual business, almost like a freelancer, if you will. For most car owners, Turo is just another side job. It's up to each car owner to price his rental rate. That's why prices vary greatly. That said, Turo prices are negotiable. But keep in mind that Turo, the company that runs the platform, has to make money too. And they do that in various ways. For example, there's the Turo trip fee. Turo adds a trip fee at checkout. Also, if you're less than 24 years old, Turo charges a young driver fee. If you're 18 to 20, you have to pay a minimum young driver fee of 50 bucks a day. If you're 21 to 24, the fee goes down to $30 a day. You can also owe other fees like airport fees, pickup or return fees, optional extras like unlimited miles, and so forth. Then there's other fees too. For example, the car owner can later bill you an invoice for tickets and tolls. Or if you return the car that violates Turo's cleaning and disinfection policy, say you left significant amount of pet hair or major stains inside, for instance. Well, then the owner can refile a report with Turo and Turo can bill you 150 bucks for cleaning, plus a $3 processing fee. Also be aware there are scammers who use Turo for bad intentions. One Turo car owner named Lainey rented her Dodge Durango to Kevin, who needed a bigger car while his family was visiting in town. Kevin's profile checked out fine, and he had multiple other trips on Turo with good reviews. So they arranged a drop off at 2 p.m., and that was that. But when Lainey decided to stop and get her nails done right across the street, as she was leaving the salon, she noticed that her car was still parked outside with someone inside. At first, she assumed he was setting up the Bluetooth audio or just in the seat. So she went to say hi. Turns out, some other guy was in her car. She asked the man if he was Kevin, knowing fully he wasn't. The man said he was Kevin. Then Kevin number two, or fake Kevin, began to furiously text someone. Next thing Lanny sees is a woman in a different Dodge Durango show up with the original Kevin. That's when Lanny got that creepy vibe. The original Kevin then asked Lanny if he could add Kevin number two as a second driver. In the meantime, Lanny's putting things together in her head. Kevin rented the car because supposedly he wanted a larger car while his family was in town. First of all, the Dodge Durango isn't a big car. 
That should have been the first red flag. Secondly, original Kevin and the other woman already have a Dodge Durango. Add fake Kevin to the story and something is obviously fishy. Laney realizes they've been trying to steal her car parts. Her Durango has a Hemi engine, which is highly coveted and people love to swap them out. Fortunately, she contacted Turo and Turo canceled the rental agreement. Another scam has to do with Turo's most popular vehicle, Teslas. The thing about Teslas is that when you sync the car to your smartphone, you receive notifications about almost anything that's going on with your car. I'm talking anything from an increase in cabin temperature to whether someone's trying to break in. You can remotely enable a Tesla's camera to see what's going on. One Turo host named Frank had rented out his Tesla, but when he started receiving multiple alerts from a Tesla, this led him to believe somebody was trying to mess with it. So he headed to his car's location only to find that it was in an auto body shop. He walked over to find an uncolored aftermarket bumper now in his car. Frank told the shop owner he was going to notify the authorities and the shop owner proceeded to promise to return the Tesla to its original condition in two hours. According to the shop owner, he had rented a red Model 3 to test out aftermarket parts he had ordered. Obviously, it's not illegal to test out parts, but it's unethical to test it out on someone else's car without their knowledge. The wiring harness and other sensors on the Tesla could have been damaged, misaligned, or miscalibrated. And who's to say the renter wasn't actually in the process of doing the bait and switch, except he got caught before he's finished and now he's just backpedaling. But look, scams can go both ways. Also, the renter can get scammed. One man returned a Lamborghini Huracan he'd rented via Turo. But two days later, the owner put in a damage claim. The renter knew he didn't damage the vehicle. It was a setup. Fortunately, the renter had diligently taken photos of the Lambo at pickup and drop off, and the photos saved him. They proved he wasn't responsible for the damage the owner claimed. But imagine if he didn't have the photos. And there's a lesson here. Actually, if you ever rent a car on Turo, believe me, you want to take tons of photos because you're borrowing someone else's car. A tiny scratch may not be a big deal for a huge car rental company, but it's a huge deal for the car owner. These photos can protect you later if the owner alleges you damaged this car in some way. Another rental alternative is Lyft Rentals which was launched in 2019 by the ride-sharing company Lyft. With Lyft Rentals, you can rent cars through the Lyft app. Sometimes the Lyft rental cars can be located in obscure locations. Funny enough, Lyft will give you a credit every time you book a Lyft ride to take you to your rental car. The thing with Lyft Rentals is when you arrive at the rental lot, you'll be greeted by a Lyft employee who'll help you with the keys. Lyft has a partnership with the traditional rental car company, Six, So the app now allows you to rent six cars too. There's also Zipcar. Believe it or not, it's owned by Avis Budgets Group. Zipcar allows you to rent cars by the hour or by the day. Most of the company's rental cars are usually parked in small lots or designated Zipcar parking spaces all around the city. To unlock the cars, all you need is a Zipcar app. Once you're done with the car, just return it to the same place. To rent a car with Zipcar, you need to be at least 21 years old. In some cases, if you're a student, you might be able to rent it as long as you're 18. If for whatever reason you need to cancel your trip, you can cancel for free up to 24 hours before your trip for trips eight hours or longer. If the trip is less than eight hours, you can cancel for free up to three hours before. The thing with Zipcar is that you need to purchase a membership. It's 90 bucks a year or you can get the monthly membership too. And that membership fee is on top of a bunch of other fees. For example, there's a one-time $25 application fee just to apply for membership. If you're an Audi fan, you'll get a kick out of the next one. I'm talking about Silver Car by Audi. It's a pro program by Audi where you can rent Audi sedans and SUVs from select Audi dealerships and a few other rental locations across the U.S. And you can book through the Silver Car app. One benefit of Silver Car is that you can cancel or modify your reservation anytime without penalties or a cancellation fee. Also, for some rentals, you may be able to show up at the Audi dealership, but most locations also offer service called Delivery to You. Basically, the car gets delivered straight to you as long as you're within a certain proximity to the dealership, of course. If you frequently rent from Silver Car, you can also rack up free rental car days with its loyalty program. That said, if you're on a strict budget, Silver Car may not be your best bet as car rental alternative. On average, you can rent a standard sedan at other rental places about half the price of the lowest cost Silver Car rental. After all, it is an Audi. But that's the thing. Silver Car is geared more for upscale markets rather than mainstream. Its rentals can be sometimes about the same price or sometimes even cheaper than renting a luxury car from traditional rental car services, depending upon where you travel and what time of year you do so. But now you tell me, if you're using any of these alternative rental car platforms, what was your experience, good or bad? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.